Welcome to the Swazzle Puppet Studio. I'm Sean. And I'm Patrick. In our last episode, we showed you how to use a foam sphere and paper patterning to mock up your puppet body, arms, and hands. In this episode, we will show you how to cut apart that mock-up to pull your actual sheet foam patterns. Let's get started! In this step, we will mark up our mock-up, cut it apart, and use a copy machine to resize our foam sheet patterns. For this step, you will need your puppet mock-up, a marker, a persona blade, a copy machine or printer, spray glue, tag board, and scissors. Using the marker, draw a center line through your mock-up and mark your cut points. Mark center front and center back, and any other information you'll need to reassemble the shape. Mark small lines or registration marks across the cut points so you see how the individual foam shapes will match up. Use a persona blade to cut your foam mock-up in half. Keep one half and set it aside for reference. Cut on your marked lines until your pattern lays flat. Only cut what you need to. At this step, you should be trying to simplify and streamline your final shape. Make additional markings and cuts as needed. Once your foam mock-up is cut apart, you can use a printer or a copy machine to resize them as needed. If your shapes are already the right size, you can still use the copier to transfer the foam shapes to paper. Use a marker to clean up the copies of the foam patterns. You can smooth out any jagged lines and make sure your shapes are as streamlined as possible. Be sure to mark your registration marks. Use spray adhesive to glue your pattern pieces to tag board. Remember to follow all manufacturer's safety instructions when using any glue or adhesives. Use scissors to cut out your pattern pieces. Note on your pattern what part of the puppet it correlates to and what type of thickness of foam you use to make them. Be sure to cut out your registration marks. Repeat the same process for all of your pattern pieces. have all the patterns that you will need to make your puppet body, arms, and legs. In the next episode, we'll show you how to trace, cut out, and assemble your foam puppet body. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss a single step. And we'll see you next time in the Swazzle Puppet Studio. Goodbye!